Okay, so why haven't you called me? You know you want to. You've been thinking about getting a session with Agvila and me. And you're going like, mm, yeah, no. Yeah, no. And now you can go over to my website, leave your phone number. I will call you back. And you're going to go, who the fuck is that? Never heard that phone number before. And you're not going to pick up. Okay. So happens all the time. And I'm going to go, you just left your phone number a few minutes ago. Come on. Uh, but I'm, I'm getting used to it. So I write back a little message. Hey, it's Rich, Rich 2150X. Just calling back. Hey, see how you're doing. And you go, oh shit, that was Rich. And then you call back. So why haven't you called back yet? <laughs> kind of like that. <clears throat> but I might keep hounding you. No, not really. I might call, try a couple of times to call you and if you don't pick up it's like eh fuck that right but in fact there's a lot of you out there i just know it that would love to have a little conversation with me on the phone all right you're thinking about getting a session or doing a course or you might just have some shit you want to download a little bit and leave your number i'll call you back we can talk on the phone. It works for me because, one, I like talking to people. And, two, I don't get assholes calling me. It's just you guys. It's like this. you're only going to be reaching out because you like me in the first place, right? And if you like me, I like you, right? Kind of a universal law almost, right? So, anyway, <clears throat> almost everyone that does contact me and give me their phone number and I call them back. It's a really great, friendly, fun conversation because I am not going to get fucking serious on you. You know, we're going to have fun. We're going to talk about your shit. We're going to talk about my shit, mostly yours because, you know, that's what it's all about. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, give me a call or what I should say is leave your phone number. I'll call you back. And then I'll sell your phone number. No, I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. No, it's not me. That's the other guys. Yeah, not me. But look, here I am. I'm talking to you right now. The way I'm talking to you right now is how I will be talking to you on the fucking phone. Say, hey, it's, it's me. What? Oh, and you, oh, it's Rich. Oh, hi, dude. Right? It'll be fun. That's why I do it. Uh, and like right now, I just keep on talking. And, you know, the, the consultation or the, you know, the little touch bases thing is supposed to be about like 15 minutes or so. I can, we can, it can go longer than that. I've talked to people for an hour sometimes. I'm not saying <laughs> you and I, we're going to talk for an hour. I'm just saying uh, it's fun. It's casual. You get to share your issues and you can ask if any of my services or courses could help you and uh, if you're into uh, you're looking for a psychic reading mm, I work with three different psychics yeah and they're all absolutely fucking amazing and they all have mm, their particular skill sets that set them apart and uh, one is Akvila I've been doing this kind of psychic scans with her for um, quite a few years now. And <clears throat> she's absolutely phenomenal. She sees so much. She sees entity stuff in your, in your in every detail, uh, between lives, past lives, all kinds of stuff. And uh, she's quite a character. She made a video recently about uh, all, she's a psychic, right? And she makes a video called uh, All Psychics Are Scammers. And I'm going, what the fuck? Why would you? What? I haven't watched the whole thing. I watched a f five minute of it, minutes of it, made a reaction video on it, and I had a good time. And I still don't know what the else she was saying about it. But she's really open and fun in that way. Uh, <clears throat> and so you can really see 
and stuff, and then we can get together. We find out what's going on with you. Is the entity stuff? Is it uh, secret space program stuff? Is twenty and back captured? Uh, are you being abducted at night? You know, astrally or physically, alien life, love bite things, things like that. We sort this out when we talk with you, and she starts seeing your stuff, and then we get to work uh, detaching entity stuff, deprogramming. AI weird shit or whatever it might be and if you have really good visuals like you can see stuff too Agvila might and I we will help you see what the target area or issue is and then her or I can guide you and help you flex your psychic spiritual muscles and we will help you do it yourself. Get rid of this entity, blow up that fucking AI programming thing, deprogram this, uh, look into a past life, uh, or make contact with ETs. We, we do all this stuff together. So that's when Agvila and I do a dual psychic deep dive scan. Okay. So I also work with Katana. Now Katana is more of a American... Indian shaman, medicine woman, herbalist, kind of psychic. <clears throat> and she too sees very clearly um, what's going on. She can look into your Akashic records, with your permission, of course. Uh, but she will open the books and literally read the letters off the page and clean up the Akashic records and the libraries and uh, deprogram things in this way. And she too sees entities in your space instantly. And we can track those entities down, find out why they're attached to you, when they got there, and what it takes to detach. And there's all kinds of entities. And there's some hardcore demon types, like in the horror flick movies, where they take over your body and they talk to your, we've had clients like that. And uh, that's some, that's some hardcore entity issues there. And uh, Katana is very mm, experienced with dealing with those. She communicates to them. They speak weird language, you know, speak English. They speak some kind of light language or dark language or something. And uh, she communicates to her angelic guides and other kinds of guides. And uh, she too can read your past lives extremely clearly. She can see it. And sometimes her and I, uh, because I've had like mm, many years of experience doing past life traumatic incident reduction sort of things. So we can find one of your traumatic past lives that it's affecting you now and we can see where it all started you know many thousands of lifetimes ago katana can see it really clearly and then i can guide katana through it detail very detailed and pick up all the content that is in your subconscious that is affecting you now programming agreements worries concerns fears all that stuff is locked up right katana can see it and feel it she also is a uh, extremely high-end empath and she feels your pain she she might tap into your stuff and she'll start crying she'll feel sharp pains in her body in different places and she can tell instantly what's going on with you because she feels it in her own system and then we do the clearing to get rid of that stuff and uh, those are wild and crazy uh, deep dive psychic dual scans, too. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> next we have Helena. Now, Helena, uh, we do uh, deep dive psychic scans. Helena's specialty, or what she's uh, really, really mm, proficient at, is communicating with the ETs. Now, she has a, an ET counterpart, you know, exceptional connection and channeling. 
and uh, she communicates with this other aspect of herself, alive, existing in uh, other realms, and this being uh, will help her, or this being called, his name is Reese, her counterpart can see the client or see your stuff uh, and uh, past life stuff, uh, uh, ET connection stuff. So she's particularly good at the mm, reading if you have uh, an interest, fascination or curiosity or a knowing about ET connections. Uh, who you were, what ET race you were connected with, uh, do you have other aspects of yourself in other realms right now, on a spaceship somewhere, uh, higher planes? And if you have mm, your own ET mm, guides or uh, friends, you might say, that are looking out for you or uh, here to help you, if you are open to it. And some of you already know this, and some of you are wondering, do I have ET friends that could help me? Helena can see your ET friends, guides, family, and she can communicate directly with them and they can communicate to her or through her to you. So uh, if, if your particular mm, favorite flavor is uh, ET stuff, uh, Helena is really good at that, but she can also read your past life stuff and see entity phenomena and we can help you mm, detach from entities as well. So those are the three amazing women I work with doing these psychic dual scans. So now we're back to, why haven't you called? You could ask me about any of these girls uh, or you can tell me all about your weird ass fucking things that's going on in your world, right? And uh, it's kind of, <clears throat> it's pretty difficult to like uh, talk outside of my uh, reality range because uh, the multidimensionality of reality is absolutely amazing and weird. And I've talked to ETs. I've been on spacecraft. ETs have contacted me. Um, I've seen demons face to face. Uh, I've out of body traveled many, many, many times. I've talked to the beings in these other realms, places. Uh, I've seen the other, I'm standing crystal clear. This should be another video. I'll, I'll, uh, I, you ever wonder if you have a feminine aspect, if you're a guy, or if you have a male aspect, if you're a woman? Uh, there's a whole thing about that. Uh, this uh, merging consciousness and being in two bodies at the same time, looking at each other, kissing. And anyway, th that's another video. But yeah, uh, so anyway, it's pretty hard to like talk outside of my uh, uh, acceptable range of I get you. <laughs> okay, uh, voices in your head, seeing weird shit, demons and stuff, time skipping, time traveling, uh, all that good stuff. All right, all right. So I just wanted to make this fun little video for you today so that you can go, you know, I'm going to go over, you fill out a form, you, you, a little bit about what you want to talk about, and you leave your phone number. And if you're in the U.S., I can call you. If you're not in the U.S., get a Skype fucking thing or something like that so that we can pretend like you're in the U.S. You get, just, you know, you get yourself a fake, uh, not a fake, but a, you know, um, a kind of uh, U.S. phone number so I can call you back. Okay. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. It was great talking to you today. All right. Bye-bye.